I am QO, and I greet each of you in love and in light this day through this instrument, to whom we are grateful for the challenge. For it is most necessary for each who would serve as an instrument for those entities such as are we, that are from what you would call, that are from what you would say elsewhere, to be able to respond to such a challenge, that we do indeed come in the name of Jesus the Christ, and the service to others, polarity. We would ask of you before we begin one small favor. It is the same favor that we ask of each session in order to help us in sharing with you that which is our service. It would be helpful if you would use your own powers of discrimination and take only those words from us that have meaning for you, leaving behind all others. For we wish to serve as best we can, and do not wish to appear to be authorities that are infallible, for indeed we have walked and continue to walk the same path as you walk. We have felt the same feelings, the joys, the sorrow, confusion, frustration, anger, and so forth and have made our way through this dense forest of emotions in our own third density. We are very appreciative that you have taken the time from your day to work through the various catalysts that are yours to make your way here to this circle of seeking where each joins with each other in love and in light and in seeking, to be of service and of seeking to know more of the love and the light of the one infinite creator in order that your service may be enhanced. All entities of a service to others' nature are most desirous of exercising that nature at every opportunity. And yet, here you find yourselves within an illusion in which, as your question has illustrated, there is such intransigent anonymity, sleep, distraction, and even diversion from anything that seems to be a path of service to others or of conscious seeking whatsoever. You are upon a planet which is populated by many of those who have had this third density experience previously. They have attempted to learn the lessons of love either of self or of other selves elsewhere within the infinite creation. And as their planetary cycles revolved and graduations approached, were not able to make the graduation upon their home planet. Thus they found it necessary to travel a great what you would call distance in time and space to make this planet their home for the master cycle of 75,000 years, or, in many cases, much less time, for many have come in late, shall we say, within this last 25,000 years, to attempt to repeat the lessons of third density the making of the choice either to shine the light outward or to absorb the light inward and to use it for the self. So you see, this explains much of the situation in which you find yourself within cultures 
religions, economic systems, and national states, which are formed around concepts which are not usually related to the spiritual journey. Even those paths that seem on the outside to have a religious context have, in many cases, allowed the outside influences of those who are not seeking the Creator or seeking to serve others as the Creator, to confuse and distract the purpose, even of the religious journey. However, we may also add that each religion, each culture, each national state has within it a path that is pure for those who truly seek the one creator, a path which may be traveled by any which is able to become conscious of this process that you call the evolution of the mind, the body, and the spirit. However, for the great majority of the population of this planet, there has been the inability to focus the inner energies of inspiration and intuition. Those basic qualities brought into the incarnation from those areas where pre-incarnated choices are made. Hopes are built up and dedication is made. And once again, the veil of forgetting is drawn as these hopes and dreams and inspirations must find a way to be realized within the third density illusion. This heavy, dense, chemical illusion which seems to shade and shadow so much of what you see and feel. And when these entities, the great majority of the population, have continued upon the path of the mundane, shall we say, the culture of accepted norms, the ways to become an accepted member of the society, this path usually leads to those qualities of anonymity, of sleep, and of distraction. For as this pattern of inability to choose one path or another repeats itself, there is less and less opportunity and possibility for such entities to make positive progress upon their path, for the opportunity becomes less and less as it is exercised less and less. In your holy works it is said, To him who has, more shall be given. To him who has not, even that which he has shall be taken away. This is an illustration of this principle. It is a kind of inertia, a, if you will, backwards momentum that inhibits the abilities of entities to become conscious of who they are, of why they are here, of what they seek, of how to do anything that resembles traveling a spiritual journey. There are so many other journeys that are available as choices that are easier to make, to seek ambition, to seek money, to seek fame, to seek position, to seek acceptance. This is what your cultures teach. This is what is valued. This is what is desired. And this is what is practiced. 
It is no wonder that those who do find themselves consciously aware of the process of spiritual evolution are frustrated when they see so many about them that do not wish to become conscious, that do not wish to become aware of what it is that they are here for, why they are here. These questions pertaining to spiritual evolution are unnerving and perplexing and are, if even considered at all, pushed aside. For they make one uncomfortable when one wishes comfort. The spiritual journey, my friends, is not always comfortable. You know this well. It will make a difficult time for you at various times, for it is, for it is necessary from time to time to pass the challenge, to engage in the initiation, shall we say, to graduate from one level to another within your own third density that marks your progress upon your conscious spiritual journey. There are times when catalyst is misapplied, misperceived, missed at all, perhaps, and not used. When this happens, there is no end to catalyst. It will come again and 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 again. Thus, the catalyst must be processed in some fashion, else one tends to become as others, numb and oblivious and perhaps even seeking recluse and reclusion from such a journey. Your path within the third density illusion is the most difficult path that you shall ever travel for only the third density illusion has the veil of forgetting. Only in this illusion is it not completely apparent at all times that you are part of the one infinite creator. Because this veil is so thick and so prevalent it offers you the opportunity to make great progress if you are able consciously to penetrate any portion of this veil. It takes effort. It takes conscious effort. It takes inspiration and motivation. It takes persistence. And if you can exercise these qualities, my friends, you shall find that they shall come back unto you tenfold, a hundredfold, so that if you cast your bread upon the waters again, as your Bible says, that they shall return to you and enrich you and enliven you and inspire you. And you shall, therefore, move forward upon your spiritual path, the journey which you have set for yourselves, a journey which seems to be without end, the journey which has so many twists and turns, valleys and mountains, arid deserts, drenching rain, all the seasons at one time or another will challenge you to give your best effort. And yet, if you persist, at some point within your illusion, you shall find that you are rewarded with great feelings of inspiration, of illumination, of enlightenment, 
of times when you see clearly that you are part of an infinite creation and creator that made all things and cares about you as much as it cares about anything and that this creator is within you awaiting only your seeking your knocking at the door your seeking in order to find your asking in order for your questions to be answered. So you seek in prayer, in contemplation, in meditation, in your daily round of activities attempting to take this attitude or vibration of unity with you so that when you pass another on the street in some fashion you can share your love you can share your concerns you can share your desire to be of service for make no mistake my friends if you desire to share your service Chances will come your way. It is not by chance they come your way. It is by design. A design in which you have partaken before this incarnation and during the incarnation as you consciously seek the one. So, my friends, we would say to you, be not overly concerned with those who sleep, with those who are distracted, with those who seem anonymous and seem to treat you in a similar fashion. Give to them what you can. Give to them that which is asked. Serve as best you can and go on your way wishing them well. That is all you can do. That is all any can do. So we inspire you. We encourage you to seek as best you can, to stay aware of what you are and who you are and whose you are. You belong to the one creator all the children of this world and all worlds belong to the creator all are sons and daughters of the creator and all shall eventually find their way home <laughs>